I won't sit here and do nothing while Rick Scott gets rich, abusing our government, taking our rights, raising our costs, and destroying what makes it great, the ability for any one of us, no matter where we come from, even a minimum wage earning South American immigrant, to reach our dreams if we work for them. That was former Democratic Congresswoman Debbie Mukherjee Powell. In, 19, 20, in 2018, she became the first South American immigrant elected to Congress. And now, after losing her seat in 2020, she's entered the race to take on Senator Rick Scott next year in a contest that will be critical for Democrats as they seek to retain control of the Senate. Joining us now is Democratic Senate candidate and former Repu former Florida Congresswoman Debbie Mukersel Powell. Congresswoman Mukersel Powell, my apologies for <laughs> for tripping over Good everything. Morning, Good morning. Good morning. But the big question for you is, why are you running? Um, look, Jonathan, I've spent so many years working here in this community. Before I was elected as the first South American immigrant to serve in Congress, I worked at FIU for many years as the associate dean at the medical school, expanding access to good quality health care, especially to underserved communities. This is about lifting Florida families up. And I've seen how the extreme Republicans, like Rick Scott, have been making it harder and harder for so many families here in the state of Florida to make ends meet, to have opportunities for good paying jobs, to make sure that they can provide a good quality education for their children. Every single group in Florida has been under attack and extremists like Rick Scott continue to um, incite that chaos and that division in the state of Florida mm -hmm. and also supporting a national abortion ban, Jonathan. And that's why we need people that can serve Florida first, not self-serving politicians like Rick Scott. And that is why I ask every single time we can win, but I'm going to need every single person with me. I want everyone watching this morning to go to DebbieForFlorida.com, support this race. This is someone that put more than $64 million of his own money into 2018 and barely won with only 10,000 votes. Florida's ready for change. They know Rick Scott is a fraud and they're ready to send me to the Senate. And I hear all of that. But Senator Rick Scott in endorsed Trump in the 2024 presidential primary just yesterday. He called it, quote, a no brainer. But Congresswoman, given that Trump won Florida against President Biden by three percentage points, why is Senator Scott wrong? Well, look, first of all, Rick Scott feels extremely threatened since I filed to run against him. He's changed his strategy. First, he said he wasn't going to endorse. Now he's endorsing Donald Trump. But this is not a red state, Jonathan. This is a voter suppressed and gerrymandered state. We have a third of our voters here are independent voters who are rejecting the extremism that has been coming not only from Donald Trump, but Rick Scott. They are attacking the very fabric of American democracy. Rick Scott started that term voting to overturn the election. He's just another puppet of the MAGA movement, and he fears a primary himself that he's been uh, trying to battle with. That's why he's actually been spending some money already trying to get that MAGA base. But here in Florida, I can tell you that he's the most vulnerable Republican. He's the most disliked Republican. People know that this man committed one of the largest Medicare frauds in the history of our country when he was CEO um, of Columbia, a, a health care company. And he wrote the plan to end Medicare and Social Security in a state, Jonathan, where we have tens of thousands of seniors that need that health, uh, health uh, saving care through Medicare. Um, so I think this is going to be a different year. He's never run in a presidential election before. And of course, he has to now ponder to the most extreme base. He is an extremist himself, and we're going to beat him. I, I can tell you that. I I've been talking to Floridians all over the state. They're ready for change. So then your home district in Miami uh, has been highly competitive. Uh, it turned red, if you will, in 2020. So then what's your path to victory? Look, this is about talking to every single Floridian across the state. Uh, for them, the most important issue is the rise in the cost of living here. We have a higher inflation rate than the rest of the country. 
Our property insurance prices have skyrocketed, and a lot of people can't afford to pay their mortgage, um, their rent, and a lot of that is also coming because of climate change. It's talking to Floridians, it's listening and making sure that they know that they're not going to be left behind. It's becoming more difficult to live in the state of Florida. And it's also about protecting our families from gun violence. Just in the past session, Republicans in Tallahassee passed a permitless carry bill, Jonathan, which would allow almost anyone to carry a loaded gun in public without a permit, without license, even without a background check. And so these are issues that are very important to Floridians. My job is to make sure that I reach every single one of them. That's why I'm asking everyone to support this campaign. We can beat Rick Scott, and it's going to be a top pickup opportunity for us to keep the Democratic majority in the Senate. DebbieForFlorida.com. Former Congresswoman Debbie Mukherjee Powell, thank you very much for coming to the Saturday show.